Hey everyone, hope you are well. It's Friday, it's the end of the market. It's 3.30 now, but I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Talking about DWAC slash True Social, I don't want to get my whole spill, but if you're back here, um, you know, then you know where I'm at with this stock and everything I've said about it. So let's go over what's happened here just the past two days since I've talked about it. Um, I think a lot of people like kind of see what's going on here. They kind of get what's going on here. Obviously, I'll, I'll say it again. So, you know, people, I, I just think it's good that people know where I'm at with this before I just start you know spewing stuff here um obviously this stock right now is moving primarily on its 2024 and selection year uh goes right into the fact that donald trump has been um yeah i hope i don't get in trouble for saying that name donald trump but uh <laughs> it might get thrown into a reader on youtube but uh you know, obviously he won the caucus at Iowa. Um, that is really, his numbers have been shooting up, uh, you know, but more bad Biden. It seems like more bad things have happened at this point since, you know, like November, uh, de December, now January. Um, it, it just keeps, we keep seeing Trump just move up and move up. And now, uh, you know, Trump news is just insane right now uh it's just crazy so with that uh we're seeing something that we've never seen before in the history of the stock market we have a company um where a guy who was the former president of the united states and potentially could be the new president of the united states by the end of this year and his polls are doing very well so with all of this happening you as an investor this is legal i mean this is perfectly legal right now you could be investing into a company that the president of the united states will be the face of own talk about promote like crazy and more than likely will be a successful platform uh for the next few years of his term um, if he were to actually win here now me saying that obviously here's where i sit as as someone who's physically putting money into digital world acquisition right now um, first of all I, I think it's very important to know key elements here um, and this is where i'm just at with it so um, is this a risky stock that's going to more than likely be very volatile for the next a year to invest in especially a few months absolutely it's huge risk with huge reward I say that because a of all which leads into number two here um, the deal with true social true social and digital world acquisition uh, two companies two separate companies right now that will be merging uh, which digital world acquisition you know that I, I don't, I don't want to go into the background of them but th that is another company uh, that will be attaching itself to true social there there's two big elements right there now that's that's not saying bad things i'm not saying bad things right there i'm just i'm just putting this out here because you know obviously if i don't somebody's gonna come in the comments and you know try to slay me with it but i, I just want everybody to be aware too um next the biggest thing with this right now i think if you're playing into this right now is that you have to understand that you're not investing in a company that is bringing out um, court, big quarterlies. They're not bringing out balance sheets. They're not producing uh, physical items to sell. They're they're, they're not um, revolutionizing, you know, uh, the, any kind of um, product. Uh, they're they're not a, they're not a I, uh, AI company right now. They're not producing vehicles. This is strictly you're investing. In on hype and what could be now I, I, like I said I'm gonna try not to repeat myself here too much but I am a firm believer that if you've been in the market for any length of time at least a year or two you've seen hype make a lot of money people will say that true social is just not going to survive in digital world acquisition the deal is not gonna happen and you know you're crazy for putting your money into it the situation has become so crazy this week that now we have analysts preaching and saying that they believe digital world could go to eighty dollars or who knows um, like I said we've never seen this before so could it go to eighty dollars it could go to eighty dollars I would be willing to say that this could get so ridiculous and so stupid that it could hit triple digits from a hundred to two hundred three hundred dollars I know that sounds 
nuts. I realize that sounds so crazy, and I'm not even I'm, I'm not even predicting that that's going to happen because we're so far off from that right now. But being in the market for the time that I've been in the market, and I, you know I'm still very new in the market. I've only been in the market for six years, but I have definitely seen things that have attached themselves to hype and FOMO and ridiculousness attached with lies of good lies, bad lies, and a company that's not doing well, or in this situation, not really even making money, explode. Um, we saw this a lot during the EV market explosion, where people were just like, you know, um, throwing loads of money into um, all these different EV companies. I mean, there was just tons, and people were making money off of strictly just hype and FOMO, um, if you were able to get in and get out at the right time. Uh, we saw this recently with AI stocks. I'm mean, not saying AI stocks are bad. I'm not saying that. But we see these trends happen in the market. Now, with that, too, I, I believe True Social will... I don't think it's going to follow the market this year. I think it's going to be this like rogue stock that's going to do like whatever it wants to do. I believe it's going to follow these primaries. I believe that it's going to follow the schedule of the primaries. I believe that as long as Trump keeps winning state by state in these primaries, you're going to see this stock, Digital World, attached to True Social just do what it wants to do and run. I believe, and that's the reason I say that this could go to 100. This could go to 200. This could go to 500. There's no rule, rules right now, rules, am I saying that, of what this could go to. And I know there's people in here listening to me yap about this and go, you don't know what you're talking about. You're a clown, all this. There's no money for them. You know, they're not making that kind of money. They're not bringing in quarterlies like that. They're not, they're not that kind of platform to sustain those numbers. I know, I know, I get it, I get it. But what you have to understand is you're investing in what if. You're investing in, I don't want to miss this. You're investing in, okay, next week. Next week is the, uh, what, what is it, the New Hampshire? Let me look here, I just had it. Yeah, New Hampshire, the 23rd, January. We have the primary, okay? <laughs> Trump pulls it off again, okay? Digital World goes to $35, We'll just say we'll just shoot low. We'll go thirty. People are going to start investing in. They're going to go, man. This I, I kind of see something happening here. They're going to go. Well, I'm going to put a few thousand into this right now at thirty dollars. There'll be a big push, sell off. Then what's after that? Uh, then <laughs> then we go to uh, uh, February February third, South Carolina primary. Then February six, we go to Nevada. What do you think is going to happen in Nevada? What do you think is going to happen in South Carolina? Uh, then, um, then February 27th, Michigan. What do you think is going to happen there? Uh, so I, I'm not making this video to preach that like you need to sell your car, you need to sell your house, sell the gold you have in, you know in the closet to put in the digital world acquisition. I believe each investor needs to do what they want to do. I I, be, I truly believe at this state in my life with investing that. An investor themselves is somewhat of a, you know, a, a detective. You, you're, you, if you're a true investor and you're a long-term investor, which I, I like to think of myself as, but also I, I will play in the hype. I will play easy plays to where I can make, you know, money to throw it right back into my portfolio. I think we all do that. It's there's nothing wrong with that. That's that's trading. That's the market. I think this is a situation where. This is not going to follow the rules of the market. This is going to be a rogue stock this year. It's going to do what it wants to do. I believe that once it hits thirty to forty dollars here, maybe sooner than later, maybe it's going to start making headlines. It's going to start making news. I believe this could be a little bit of a ridiculous GameStop situation. I, I'm not trying to be the first to call it here. I'm just saying, like, just watch what happens here. I believe as long as this continues and listen the deal hasn't happened so once these two these two companies are combined into one think what that's going to do then then it, that's solid concrete right there if this deal were to just like say happen next week february or something like that man this thing would explode even more because then people would feel so much co comfortable think how many people are not investing in this right now just off the basis of they're like mm, you know the deal hasn't happened i don't feel like comfortable putting that kind of money into it right now which is totally understandable because, like I said, this is a risky play. The deal has not happened as of yet, but 
from what we've gathered, what we know, it should be. And Trump has not stopped talking about true social. So like he, he, he talks about it all the time. If you go to any of his latest speeches, he's always talked about true social. And here's another big aspect that I know there's people in here that are like, you're just in here promoting Trump, all that. I'm talking strictly as an investor, following the clues, following the breadcrumbs. Y you also have to understand too that um, the general media does not want to talk about this situation. They do not want to promote this. Um, th it's really hard to find solid, concrete information right now on digital world acquisition and true social. True social is actually a pretty big platform and they have millions and millions of subscribers. Now, of course, me saying that, look it up. I, look it up. Um, so, Friends, what I'm trying to say here is, you know, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously not looking at charts. I'm not looking at, you know, uh, you know, if, if we hit this level, we're gonna peak at this level. We can see stairs here. We, we've got volume here, and if this does, you know, if this line goes here, I'm not bringing you graphs and all that. I think this is a pretty much black and white situation that we're watching play out right here. Um, you know, just when this thing jumped this week. Um, you know, we'll say the 17th is when we had a real big jump here to almost $28. You know, Pete, you know, there was headlines coming out that day where some analysts, like I said, were saying like, okay, it's, I, I'm going to call it, I'm going to say right now it's going to 80 bucks just off this high train. <clears throat> and then we had analysts come out and say, um, you know, this is just all a bunch of, you know, malarkey and you know this is the stupidest thing anybody can get themselves wrapped up in and you know trump and then they go off and all this trump stuff and yeah you know, it's like okay listen I, I i am i am here with everyone else just watching this i have been talking about this situation for two years now since digital world and true social said they were going to combine and be one company um i have been here talking about this um and saying one day one day it, this thing is going to take off. I honestly thought this was going to happen later in the year, so I'm actually pretty shocked that it's doing it now. Obviously, it makes sense with the primaries. Um, it's just giving you know support to people's um, you know you know uh, insurance that you know Trump is going to make it here to the election to be the Republican candidate, which I, I think we all, whether you're for him and against him, it, it looks like it's happening. So friends, with all that said, it looks like Digital World today is closing it. Had a pretty good day. It was actually a pretty good day. It almost made it back to 28 again. Um, a lot of people thought it was gonna sell off like crazy and be down to like back to 19 bucks, um, which wouldn't be bad because I think a lot of people would have bought in. Um, is this gonna go back into the teens? That's a good question. I don't know. And I say that I don't know because I think a lot of people are catching on to what's going on here pretty fast. I think people, they know this could run next week. This could run. And I think the the key right now that is going to be the telltale sign is next week. If this thing runs off the next primary, that is going to be a strong indication. There's no... There's no rules. There's no. There's no nothing that anybody can say that's going to make sense because this is going to do what it wants to do, and it's going to do kind of what Trump does. It just makes its own rules. It's going to be a rogue stock. It's not going to follow the market. It doesn't matter if the market's going to crash this year. It doesn't matter what all these analysts are projecting about next month and not being a good month in the market, and that we're going to see the S and P fall down. Um, you know, rates and blah, 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 all that stuff. It doesn't matter. It does not matter with this thing right now. It is a fun time, an interesting time to be an investor and watch this because you will probably never see this again in your lifetime as an investor. Being able to buy into a company, a stock, where the most famous person in the world is the owner of it. And he has an army of people behind him more than likely putting money into it just because they support him. They don't even care. They don't even care that about money attached to the company they don't care about balance sheets they don't care about deals they don't care about what's going to happen they simply want to help and invest in something with someone they like and i'm not saying that's bad or good i'm just saying as an investor this is interesting this is very interesting to watch we will obviously i'm, I'm going to be talking about this all year i think that if this thing were to shoot back to 19 dollars even to mid-grain teen range, I, I, I wouldn't even 
I, I don't even care. I, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even be scared. Um, as long as the deal is happening and this thing is attached to True Social and Trump, I think you're going to have these days where you're going to have sell off, buy back in, and then when big news happens, we're going to shoot back up, sell off, back down, a little bit of hype back up, news, big back up. And I think that's why I, I'm projecting big numbers. I'm not saying it's going to happen with big numbers, but I, I would not be shocked. I've talked enough. I've said enough. I hope all of you have a wonderful weekend. It's been an amazing weekend. It is a time to be an investor, and I think there's, there is something to be played here. Friends, I will talk to you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.